Tell me about the dream you had this morning. This morning I had a dream of a tsunami that destroyed a whole bunch of towns and cities. It was very powerful. It destroyed a whole lot of things. It caused a whole lot of damage. And also it it was very powerful. It went by by in the blink of an eye. So where were you when this happened? I was in my I was in my house, but when we heard the earthquake, we knew that it was coming because of other dreams and visions that happened. Okay, other dreams and visions. What do you mean by other dreams and visions? What I mean by other dreams and visions is that other people warning us about it that it was gonna actually happen, so we were prepared for this to happen. Okay, and tell me what happened, what, where did the earthquake happen? The earthquake happened on the shore of Europe. Mm-hmm. Yes. Are you sure? Yes. Okay, and what, what else occurred in the dream? What else occurred on the dream is that we went to the mountains we had to drive to the mountains, and when we went to the mountains, it stopped right there. It didn't go over the mountains. It say it didn't go above the mountains. It, the mountains protected us. Okay. So, so when did we when did we go to the well, mountains? How when, did we know when to go to the mountains? Because we we kept hearing about it and so we knew that it was going to happen so we were prepared so when the earthquake happened to go there okay how did we get to the mountains we got to the mountains by by we rode first and then we climbed over and then we climbed over the mountains mm -hmm. yes and you said god gave you a message Yes, the message was that it's important to be ready because when God speaks, He means it's going to actually happen. And the tsunami, and the tsunami is actually going to happen, and it's everywhere. It's going to be flooded, but but the mountains, be but the mountains aren't going to be flooded. Okay, and you said that God also was telling you about witnessing. Yes. And what did was the message? The message was that it's it that tsunami. It's important to be ready that the tsunami is going to actually happen very quick, very okay. very quick. And you were saying that God showed you that we have to witness to people. Yes. And warn people. What did God say to you? That it's a, we need to warn every Christian. And that it's that it, it's happening because it actually is gonna happening happen. Okay, what else that you do you want to share about the dream? Well, that there, there was a whole lot of commotion when this happened. Everyone was like everyone was sad that they houses got broke and stuff. So they got really mad because they stayed because they thought that. Their things were more precious than the getting warned. So they stayed, stayed home and their house got destroyed. Did people lost their lives? Yes, hundreds, thousands. And you said about roads and hotels. What happened about the roads and hotels? The roads and hotels. Hotels were like, were collapsed. Road, roads were cut in half with potholes in them and highways were sliced in half. 
Do you want to say anything else about what you remembered no. in the dream? No. How did you feel during this time? That it that it was important to be ready because I felt like it was I needed to be ready and I need to be ready because it was important that I was ready or else we have to suffer the consequences. Okay. So you want to say a quick prayer, Joshua, for all of those who are listening? Yes. Father God, I thank you right now that you would help these people be ready for the tsunami. Yes, Lord. It's going to be very dangerous. I thank you right now that, that it will get all over the world and it will spread in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. I thank you right now that it that it the people shall be warned in the name of Jesus and that they shall listen in the name of Jesus. Yes, Open Jesus. their ears, be ready to receive in the yes, name God. of Jesus. So I just thank you right now for them that they would be safe and they will listen in the name of Jesus. Yeah. Hi. Okay, so tell everybody tell everybody um what you seen. Did you see tell tell everybody what you were telling daddy? Uh I think an asteroid coming. You think there's an asteroid coming? Tell, yeah. tell, look at the camera and tell. Uh, Why do you think there's an asteroid coming? So we, they can see you. Okay. Like, I don't know, but I think there's one coming. You think there's one coming? Do you think that, um, do you think that Jesus is coming back? Yeah. You think that Jesus is coming back? Okay. And so, do you think that maybe, um, because I'm thinking, Eden, that it'll be like an, if, if, what you're saying is correct. If an asteroid comes, then God would take everybody. Would everyone die? But not or? the bad, not the, the bad uh, um, angels. Not the bad angels. So, 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 as you see, my my daughter's saying she's seen an asteroid, and does it hit the Earth exact? Does it hit the Earth, or what happens? It goes over. And it goes over. Another rock. Oh, it's in there. It goes into Earth. Oh wow. And so uh, that's my daughter's uh, dream. Um, so that's her, my daughter's prophecy. Uh, praise God. And um, and I woke up last night when you were sleeping. Oh yeah. And then there was another guy that had a dream about an asteroid. Remember? That's interesting. All right. So uh, I want you guys to be blessed in Jesus' name. Amen. And um, also, um, make sure, make sure, make sure that you always love God with all your heart. And um, repent for the kingdom of God is at hand. Perth has been hit by a once in a century weather event. The extreme heat is gripping other parts of the country, with Sydney today breaking its hottest summer on record. 17 records tumbled. Perth also set a cold weather record. Yesterday was the coolest February day since records began. Never seen it ever, ever like this before. South Australia has been rattled by yet another earthquake. It follows two other tremors of similar magnitude. And so storm after storm after storm has been moving into California. Dude, this is so gnarly. Heavy downpour. Well, what is causing this unusual winter pattern, Jeff? Two cars were swallowed up by a massive sinkhole. I've never seen anything like this before. So no one knows exactly for sure. There's always natural variability, but this has been an unusual winter. It's been dubbed Lucifer. Maybe uh, once in every uh, 10 years.